My name is Lucy Stratton, and I am the Drama Club President. My name is Mary Kate. Mary Kate, wait, wait, hold on, let me start. My name is Mary Kate Goff. I'm the Vice President of Drama Club. Lucy scares me. <laughs> Just kidding, she's making me do this. I don't know what to do. Hi, my name is Emily Dwornick, and I am the Secretary of the Centerville Drama Club. Hi, my name is Meg Larson, and I'm Centerville High School's Drama Club Historian. I am Christina Rathjen, and I am Drama Club Co-Publicity Head. I guess I started theater in elementary school, but really, I didn't go to any rehearsals, and I just chose what seemed to be it. I was just kind of in the background doing my own thing, so that doesn't really count. I stopped theater in middle school because I just hated the middle school theater teacher. So I like joined theater freshman year, I guess. I thought it'd be cool. It's not really. I first joined theater last year, my sophomore year. I've been involved in theater since middle school and throughout my high school career. I have been involved in theater since like kindergarten, but um, I joined Theater Centerville sophomore year after I moved up here. But then in freshman year, I got into theater, not because I was in the class, but because my friend, and, my friend Sarah Hollenbeck and I really wanted to audition for something, but I was so, so terrified to do it. I like theater. I like being on stage. Um, I like having all the attention. I'm an attention whore. I was just so terrified, so then I wouldn't do it because my friend did it with me, and there were all these freshmen there, but there were also all these upperclassmen. They were really scary because they were all seniors and upperclassmen, and it was such a terrifying experience, but then I got cast. Me and my friend were the only freshmen who got cast, and it was pretty amazing. I mean, it kind of is, but sometimes I just, I feel like I'm too cool for it, you know? Um, yeah. Like being in the spotlight, that's why I joined theater, so that I could shine above all the rest, because I am the best. Um, <laughs> I am the greatest actress that ever lived, basically. Because I had done it in middle school, and my friends were raving about the theater department at Centerville, so I was dying to join, and I'm really, really glad that I did. The department needs to understand that. They need to understand that I'm an important asset. I am what makes Theater Centerville. Without me, there would be no Theater Centerville. Um, and I first joined because, um, I don't know, it's always just been a big part of my life and I could really express myself through theater and I really like it. They need me and, um, and I demand the respect that goes along with that position. I think they need to take me seriously. So when I ask for only red M&Ms in my dressing room, I'm not kidding. I mean it. I won't go on stage if I don't get my red M&Ms. What makes Centerville Theater just so <laughs> important to me is that we're such a close-knit, tightly meshed community. We're, we're a small department and we're just so close so while we probably sometimes don't have super successful shows, or we do really obscure shows, we still make so many good memories, and I don't know, it just really made my high school career to be involved in theater. My favorite thing about theater is that it lets me get out my rage. My favorite thing about Theater Centerville, um, and it may sound cliche, uh, but we all are really like a giant family. Um, my favorite thing about theater and theater Centerville, um, well that would be me, because uh, without me they wouldn't have any good shows. And the great part is that there's always someone for you to talk to, so if you're having a bad day, there are tons of people that are always there willing to listen to you and make you feel better. My favorite thing about theater Centerville would have to be um, that feeling you get when you walk into the theater, that feeling of this is home. Um, but my favorite part has been um, working with myself because um, I make the experience fun. I think if you ask anybody else in the cast, they'll agree that I am the shining light in their dark abyss that is their life. 
this is what I know. And anyone who goes on that stage, any actor, any actress, is automatically family. I love that. really fortunate to have such caring members in the past, but I don't know if I'll miss any class as much as this year's senior class. Um, to the underclassmen in general, um, I know it's going to be tough picking it up after I leave. Um, I know you probably will just cancel the department, you probably won't even do shows anymore. Because um, it's really tough, I mean talking to other people who have had to do it coming out behind my shadow, it's hard. Um, a, a lot of the, I mean other departments have just quit because there's really no part of continuing. But, um, oh gosh, can I say stuff to people individually? Yeah. Okay, um. Because they're able to take all of the underclassmen kind of under their wing. Oh, wait. Oh, Meg, uh, you are my understudy. I know that you plotted my death several times, and I know that you tried to kill me, or I know one day you, like, rushed behind me in, in, on the stairs, and you were trying to make me fall, I swear to God. But, um, but, but no. Because um, you need to know that I would never let anyone else take a role of mine, ever. And they've always been there to support us, and they love us, and they're just the greatest, and I'm gonna miss them so much next year. Binta, you are a sass master. I know that you think that you're like better than me and stuff, um, but you're not. I'm really gonna miss the seniors this year. Um, I know I say that every year I, can't imagine life without them, but uh, Mary Kate, um, you think that you can sing better than me, but you can't. Anthony, you think that you can act better than me, but um, no. Looking at them now, it's just like they were sophomores to me just a minute ago. And uh, Lucy, I know that you think you're my best friend. Um, it's all been an act. Um, it's just been, that's actually been my greatest role that I've ever played was your best friend because it's been hard. You're a tough person to be a friend, best friend with. It's just all a joke. I don't really like you. I regret not spending as much time with them. And Rachel and Nick, you're twins and that's cute and all, but um, you're not better than me. Just, I'm gonna miss them a lot. Emily Dwarnick. Ew. Christina is a very talented actress, and she can project her voice very well, so I am able to hear everything she says. Christina, I will be missing you the least.